Okay, so I was looking through my hard drive when I found this video that I recorded a long time ago. Now, I completely forgot about this until I saw it, then I remembered. So yeah, this video is basically me and Charizard discussing dreams we had in our past. And yeah, that's basically what this video is. And, and then there would be this other dream when I was really little, and it would be a reoccurring dream. You know those occurring dreams that would happen like every, like... You know, I've never actually. Something. I've never actually had a reoccurring dream. Like I know a lot of people have oh, those, but I've never had one. So I used to have this very one specific reoccurring dream, and because I I am in New York, and this would happen to me every time, every night before I travel, every night before I get on a plane. Oh, I have or, a I have a reoccurring dream, but you could tell oh, I just I just yeah. I just remembered where, where one. I where I show up to the airport, with my family we check in. And there's this Santa Claus thing area in the side. Yeah. And so I'm at JFK Airport. I go into the Santa Claus Macy's hellhole thing where there's Santa Claus sleeping. And stuff. I get out the other side and I go ahead and I'm basically lost. And I'm like, here, take me to t this terminal at, in this airport. Give me a map or something. And they, they never help. And so the, and the one time that I... That it was cool. That reoccurring dream was cool because it, it changes. Like it used to change all the time. So like there'd be a new twist every time. So like one time there was like a horror twist, and the other time there was a twist where like instead of escalators and stuff, there were little minecarts from Minecraft that uh, that I would sit in and go through. Oh. And then it was just like so bizarre because then you have like the the one time where like. You know, you see something weird happen, but then you don't know if it was, like, reality or if it was the dream or not. Yeah. And, and, and meanwhile, this is, like, maybe, I don't know how many years ago these dreams occurred. Like, those reoccurring dreams were always such a pain in my ass. <laughs> because I knew what it was while I was sleeping. Like, but I, even though I was conscious about it, I somehow didn't wake up. Okay, where I used to live, there used to be a museum in the city I lived in called the SG Maglev and Railway Park, something like that. And I used to go there a lot. And every night before we would go, I vividly remember, no, either the night before we went or when we got back in that night, one of those, I just had this very vivid dream. I remember we would be like in this hall, like it was like an entrance to like almost like a convention hall. And there would be all these people and we would go inside. Then I would be like in this box, like ginormous, like almost like infinity, but you could see the walls. It was like this room and there was different, like, it was almost like the back rooms, but it, there was like, there was like a, if you went down this one place, there was a grass plains. So there was like a literal just house in the middle of it. It was weird. And I remember I would be with my dad and my sister and we would go down this area uh, with a road and it would be where the, there's like just flat green plains. And then while we were there, a witch would appear and then start chasing us. I remember we would just be like running around in panic trying to escape this witch. The house I would hide in there, like stuff like that. And this dream would happen every time I would go. And then one time I was so scared of this dream that I told my daddy I did not want to go because I had this dream. And he told me to just think to myself and not to have that dream. I've never had that dream since. Probably because wow. I haven't been. To, probably because I haven't been to a museum in years. No. You know what? One dream, that that this is like the the dream. Like it's it's the dream of the dreams. That that, that makes sense. Uh, probably not. Anyway, it, this is like the dream I tell everybody. Like if you know me, you know this story. It's called Big Boots. Oh no! What the fuck? I already don't it, it has it home. even has a title like this could be a movie if I if I wanted it to be okay so I don't remember how oh, this no. you know like when dreams just you th you get teleported to a completely new place yeah that it was one of those dreams I don't remember what was happening before uh, I do remember what was happening after but okay so I just uh, get teleported right so I, I used to go to this after school after school after school, after school, that sounded weird. Anyway, there, so I remember, I was, the, and then for, by the after school, if you went down the road and walked, like, I would say five, six minutes, there would be this park. I remember we were, like, on the street between the after school and the park. Oh, yeah. And I remember I looked at the park for some reason. I don't know how I looked at the park. Someone gave a thumbs up. I looked back at the, uh, oh, what's 
parents uh, after school, someone there gave a thumbs up. I was confused. I didn't know what was happening. And then in my car was my mom. Okay, that makes sense. My sister, that makes sense. Some of the after school people, that makes sense. My grandpa from Tucson. So what? But uh, by the way, I was living in Japan at the time, so he's probably visited like once or twice while I was living in Japan. Anyway, and then we, someone says to look up at the sky. I look up. Oh, no. There's a boot, like a f like a boot, <laughs> like for your for your foot. A boot for your foot. You know, <laughs> and then the boot faces us like it has a face, even though it didn't have a face. Like, and then I get teleported <laughs> to this like business hall or something. And right next to me, there's a desk, so I hide under the desk, and I just see the boot chasing my mom, just ah, and then I'm like ah. Oh my god. So yeah, that's big boots. boots. That that's big boots. Big the boots. story everybody big. knows. Big boots. The story well, now everybody I, well, knows. Well, now I know the origin of Big Boots.